I took this valve out of a unit heater because when I tested it, I noticed that the thermocouple, even though it was putting out well over uh, what it should have put out, I actually got it up to 50 millivolts with a torch placed on the uh, thermocouple, this valve would not stay in. Like when I push this down, it should hold down if the pilot's lit. When I let it up, the pilot should stay lit. Well, it did not. And the thermocouple was working beautifully. So I thought I'd go a little farther with this valve and see what we can find out. Now here I'm set up with a meter. I'm in the ohms. Short the leads together, got a nice beep. Okay, I'm going to place one probe inside where the button goes of the thermocouple and one on the body of the valve. Now, if the solenoid was operational, I would have a zero ohms. But what I've got is OL, which means there is no continuity. So I've actually got a problem inside here where this, this solenoid that I'm supposed to hold open when I push down this valve, that solenoid is, has no continuity. And so let's see if we can find out why. Now I pulled the top of this valve off, it came off just like that, and this is a connector for the solenoid that is supposed to be held open. Now again, I have the uh, ohmmeter on zero, I go to the body, and here, I'm still reading OL. So there is a problem, it wasn't just in this connection here, to the top of the valve, it was actually down the solenoid. So let's go a little farther. Okay, now I've taken the bottom of the valve off. It kind of came in like that. Now it's off. Here's the solenoid right here, but one of the things you might note if you look close, there's water in here. This thing's wet. So I get the funny feeling this solenoid, which is what is supposed to actually work. So let's see if there's any continuity here, because I've got wire here. Okay, this is a solenoid. I'm going to try to pull this thing off, if it'll come out. Okay, there's the solenoid itself. Here's what's happened. See that right there? I'll get a little closer. I put a little piece of wood there to kind of, kind of give a better idea of what's happened there. You can see that wire has actually corroded through. Because when I pulled this off, the wire that was going, it was going right there. It fit right in there, and the wire was corroded in two. Obviously, because we had water in this valve, there was a good chance it was not going to run anyway. But that was the problem right there. Simple failure originally caused by water in the valve. Now how it got there beats me. Here's the top of the valve which was upright. I guess it could have got through the screw holes or something uh, with a roof leak or the thing was left outside. Who knows? Anyway, that's why that valve failed. Is that uh, Silly little wire. Obviously, none of these parts are replaceable. I just did this just to see if I could figure out what happened. Okay, that's it on that one.